Thank you. I now give the floor to the distinguished representative of the International Service for Human Rights. This is a joint statement. The military coup increased the militarization of the state and threatened fundamental freedoms. In the absence of the rule of law and the complete impunity granted to the military, women in Sudan are under attack every day. Recently, women's presence in public spaces and participation in basic life activities such as going to work has become a mounting challenge. Since the coup, hundreds of women protesters have been arrested, with more than nine suffering eye injuries and at least three losing sight in one eye. Over 50 women had to go through extreme medical interventions. At least 23 have been raped, some gang raped. The continuous crackdowns on protests and media close civic space for women. Women's rights groups and defenders face continuous smear campaigns and surveillance of their work and movement. Journalists and activists have been arrested and prosecuted. Dozens received threats or were dismissed from their jobs. Women leaders and members of unions have been threatened with dismissal because of their support for the protest movement. Urgent actions must be taken to ensure stable democratic transition that provides justice, peace and respect for human rights for Sudanese people. We call on Sudan to immediately end the violence against women defenders, women's rights groups, and women protesters and protect their rights. We urge the Sudanese political actors and the international community to prioritize justice and accountability in any upcoming political solution. We call on the OCHR and the expert to conduct immediate investigation of the violations and gender-based violence against women protesters and women human rights defenders, and to engage in inclusive and wide, civil, wide consultations with civil society, including women defenders. Thank you.